Hakuna One Mata. What's a wonderful player? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy One Star Week Foot. We're back for another video. We're back for another player review. And today, as you can see on your screen, we're gonna review the Europa League's moment, Juan Mata. And his car looks really fun to be fair. He got medium, medium work rates. He's five foot seven. His three star weak foot is not ideal, but he has four star uh, skill moves. Let's look at the stats closer. 85 pace looks to be okay if you're gonna play him as a cam. He has 90 acceleration, which looks to be very useful. His shooting stats look to be decent, not the best, to be honest, but not the worst either. I mean, his long shots, shot power, you want that to be a little bit higher if you're a cam. His passing looks to be really good. No, no complaints there. His dribbling also looks to be very, very good. And his physical stats, the only thing that really stands out is at 45 strength. That's not really what you want. We'll see how that affects him in-game. So what I did is I threw a finisher chem style on him. I really want to raise his finishing, his shooting in general, as well as his jumping, his physical stats, his aggression, all that good stuff. So I'm going to play some Division Rivals gameplay with him, and I'll be right back. All right, so Footman got this guy down. It's costing about 125k to complete untradeable. Is he worth that money? I would say no. I can't really co-sign that. I'll explain why. All right, 85 pace. It feels pretty good in game. 90 acceleration feels really good in terms of him making runs. He beats the defensive line with a quick with a quick run usually, but he doesn't have enough pace to sustain it, meaning that if you get the ball with him, he's behind the defensive line, um, the defender will always catch up to him. He's not that quick once he gets the ball, which is a little disappointing. Um, his shooting, his attack positioning is 92. However, what I will say about that is he has medium, medium work rates. I played him at Cam in a 4 one 2 and 2 and I noticed he disappeared a lot. He was always interchanging with a right CM, which is a problem I don't really have that much with my um, Cams in that formation. But the medium, medium work rates definitely harmed him. I set him to stay forward eventually, like later, um, after I noticed this, and he did improve a little bit. And I did notice that if he was in your attacking third, um, he's actually a really good, like he's really good at positioning himself to be in dangerous areas. Um, just the medium, medium work rates is not the best for me because he does not make a good center mid whatsoever. His long shots were only 80, but they felt decent enough. Um, he has a finesse shot trait, which could be why. As long as you get it on his left foot, it should be a pretty good chance at uh, being on target at least. Um, I did notice his shot power was a little low at times, which kind of hindered him in some positions. His passing. His passing was pretty solid. All his passes had a pretty good weight to it. I did notice the three-star weak foot at times, but I wouldn't say it's enough to ruin the card. Um, overall, I would say his passing is pretty good. No major complaints there. His dribbling. That's the one where that really kills me here. I expected his dribbling to be better um, because he's five foot seven. He has really high dribbling stats. I thought he was going to feel silky smooth on the ball. And don't get me wrong, he feels very good on the ball. But what I'm going to say is he's only five foot seven. He has 45 strength. So in order to get past those weaknesses, he needs to have better dribbling. He needs to be silky smooth when turning. And he's just short of being like very good at dribbling. To me, he's just good at dribbling. He's not going to turn like Neymar. He's not even going to turn like Modric. Those are other like weaker, smaller players. And they're able to get, get away with it because of their dribbling. Mata is good on the ball. He, he retains possession really well. He has good reactions. The ball always bounces back to him. But he's not quick enough to turn. In terms of, uh, you know, like basically counteracting his very low strength. And that to me is one of the main reasons he's not worth the money. Um, it's a big weakness and it's a weakness that I think will hurt you in the closer games. His physical stats were as expected. He's very weak. He gets knocked off the ball. Gets bullied easily because he's weak and he's also small. Um, his jumping was actually like, he has 86 jumping. He's actually pretty feisty when going up for headers. He'll win one or two, but don't expect him to win that many. His stamina was 88, but at Cam, I actually noticed him getting tired a lot. Maybe it's the way I used him. I'm not going to really say it's a con because 88 stamina should last you most of the game, if not all of the game. So what would I rate this card? I would rate this card a solid 5 or 6 out of 10. I, I would say it's a pretty pretty decent card if you want to have fun with the game, if, you, if you're a Manchester United fan, if you're a Spain fan. But it's not the best card. It's not going to be a meta card. It's not the best card to use in Weekend League. And, or anything like that. It's just a card to use if you're trying to have some fun. Value for money, I would also say like 4 or 5 out of 10. 
100 k can get you a lot these days, and this is not it, especially since it's untradeable, especially since Foot Birthday's coming in a couple days. Anyways, if you like this review, please smash the like button, please smash the subscribe button. I'll be back later with another video. Until then, see ya.